Well, you can write the headline for the weather across the nation's midsection today in one word, hot. The mercury climbed to 90 degrees or higher in 40 states, and the humidity made it feel even worse. More than a 1,000 high temperature records have been broken across the United States this month. Maya Rodriguez is in East Texas, where there is still no relief in sight. Normally at this time of year, the peach would be ripe and it'd be that big. At Ham Orchards in Terrell, Texas, the signs of drought on this 100-acre peach farm are obvious. They're beginning to stress, these young trees are, uh, with these yellow leaves inside the tree. Dale Ham has been a peach farmer for 32 years. Has the drought cost you any money? Yes, a lot. We're having to water 24 hours a day, and that's costing us money in fuel, in electricity. He's not alone. Severe drought conditions are spread across 14 states. In Texas, the period from February to June was the driest since 1917. It may take a hurricane to make things right. Until then, ranchers like Jim McCord are left high and dry. We're in survival mode. We're just trying to survive and, and do the best we can until conditions get better. But even then, relief could be temporary. Climate models show another La Nina could be forming. The weather phenomenon in the Pacific Ocean keeps the south drier than normal. That means drought conditions could be on tap again next year. Back at Ham Orchards. Once they break the skin, well, uh, it's open season for anything that wants to eat on it. There's a new concern. Grasshoppers that normally eat healthy grass in nearby pastures are now starting to eat his peaches. Between the bugs and not having enough water and the heat and the grasshoppers and everything else, we're just fighting a losing battle. And Bob's scorching heat is only making the drought worse. Temperatures here have hit 100 degrees every day since July 2nd, evaporating whatever moisture is in the soil. Okay, well, thank you very much, Maya.